Welcome to Sci PK. I'm PK, and today I'll be explaining to you about Allen Hills 84001 and the possibility of it having aliens inside of it. It's aliens. Aliens. Huh? Aliens. Oh my God. Aliens? Today is the first instance of what I'm calling Science Saturdays, where I'll be explaining all sorts of cool stuff in the STEM world to you. In December 1984, a team of meteorite hunters from the Antarctic Search for Meteorites program, ANTSMET for short, found something in Allen Hills, Antarctica. It was an igneous rock, meaning it was formed by the cooling of molten lava, but it was surrounded by black glass, also known as the fusion crust that is formed on meteorites upon burning through the Earth's atmosphere. What initially excited the team the most was its seemingly green inside, though it later turned out to be gray. They named the sample ALH84001. Through examination, it was determined that the meteor was formed about 4.5 billion years ago, the best estimated landing in Antarctica about 13,000 years ago. We know ALH84001 and at least 11 other meteorites are from Mars because they contain traces of gas that is exactly like the atmosphere of Mars. Roughly 16 million years ago, a meteor impact on Mars from an asteroid about a half to two kilometers wide blasted ALH84001 into space. A long time before its launch into space, a liquid flowed through the rock and deposited rounded globules of carbonate minerals. In 1996, a team of researchers led by NASA scientists, including lead author David S. McKay, used electron microscopy to analyze these deposits and announced that they may contain trace evidence of life. I participated in the NASA Lucy Student Pipeline Accelerator and Competency Enablers Mission Concept Academy, or La Space MCA for short. And you can be too. In La Space MCA, we had the opportunity to speak to Michael Mayer, NASA's lead scientist on Mars exploration. And I asked him about ALH 84001. So that's the problem. We don't know the environment where the rock came from. So it opens the door for a wide range of physical chemical processes. In summary, he stated that there has been many debates of all sizes about this since it's David S. McKay and his team's announcement. But ultimately, the scientific community decided that the other processes that could have formed these traces are more likely. Oh, man. Finally, NASA announced that a research funded by their astrobiology program at the Carnegie Institution of Science concluded that the organic material in the meteorite was formed by geochemical interactions between water and rock. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave a comment if you have any thoughts. Refer to the description for sources. Please like, share, and subscribe, and maybe pay a visit to my other videos or my other socials. If you see that I'm live on Twitch or Kick, drop in and pay me a visit and talk to me live. Thanks for watching!